Test it. Amen. Praise the Lord. If you would, just one more time, just say thank God, thank God. for Pastors Dave and Ina Newell, Dave and Ina Newell. who answered the call of God. Call of God. And uh, for our family, I just want to say thank you, Pastor Dave and Pastor Ina. Uh, our family has been so blessed by your ministry and the ministry of this church, the elders, those that teach. Um, when we first came here, the very first time, you know, we were greeted warmly, and there were people who even came up as they felt led by the Spirit of God and prophetically ministered. So I said, well, I don't have to ask whether or not there's freedom. <laughs> and I see there's people here who, who are mature in ministry. And guess what? What they ministered was right on. I bore witness with it in the Spirit of God. That's the other thing. If you don't bear witness, then that's a problem. But I said, these people are tuned in to the Spirit of God. And so I have uh, the great privilege, and I'm going to be quick because we've already had so much that's already been said. I had some of my words stolen too. So, <laughs> so um, I just want to say I'm thankful. I've spent time with our pastors in church and out of church. I'm a witness they're the same people. I'm a witness that the gifts of the Spirit of God are in operation in here and outside. The conversations that we've had, we've been able to talk about great things in the Lord, and I've just been so enriched. And one of the things that I can say that I'm truly thankful for, and this is like the key thing, is that the pastors here have openly said yes to the Lord for every gift Every move, everything that God wants to do, the leaders have said yes. If you're somewhere where the leadership has not said yes, then there are things that the Holy Spirit would want to do, but it's not welcome. And it can't happen. Yeah. Yeah. And so by being part of this church, you are in a situation where you won't miss the move of God. You won't miss what God's doing because there's a big bullseye in the middle of the aisle here. There are, are air traffic lights and everything saying, Lord, here's the target. Everything that you're about in the kingdom and that what you want to do is welcome here. And so the only thing, yeah, yeah, praise the Lord. <laughs> praise the Lord. The only thing that can stop us from receiving is if we also haven't joined them and said yes. You said yes all those years ago, and they're still saying yes. Some people start out with a yes. But after years of what we've been through, years of what we experienced, some people don't have a yes down the line. But I thank God that you've got a yes, and it's still present. And because of that, we are blessed. We can step into the river. It's still flowing. It's still welcome to flow. We can receive. We can grow. We can experience the power of God. And it's okay. It's welcome. So I just really want to give thanks for that. That's my big thank you. Amen. Amen. So I was looking at uh, what a river is. I looked up, I actually looked up what is a river. And it's so simplistic, but at the same time, I received revelation that a river forms when there are streams that come from up high and they form one tributary. And so we are living streams coming in. The Holy Spirit has drawn us here, and there's a tributary, like Roseanne has said, flowing right through here. And so praise the Lord. I want to find out from you all, 
My husband and I have only been here for how many years? Early 2019. So we haven't been here that long, but we're so privileged that God would bring us here to this beautiful river. And so we get a chance to experience the same blessing that those who came before us experience. The Lord is still at work even now. Aren't you happy that the Lord, the same spirit that started this place, is still at work now, and God still has more and more and more for us? And there is a bank on that river, and God is saying, come, come and partake of the river because he has more. And so he gave me this simple story. He reminded me of this. It's a story about one day a man was walking along the beach and when he noticed a boy hurriedly picking up and gently throwing things into the ocean, approaching the boy, he asked, young man, what are you doing? The boy replied, I'm throwing starfish back into the ocean. The surf is up and the tide is going out. If I don't throw them back, they'll die. The man laughed <laughs> to himself and he said, don't you realize that there are miles and miles of beach and hundreds of starfish? You can't make any difference. And after listening politely, the boy bent down and he picked up another starfish and he threw it into the surf. And then smiling at the man, the man he said, I just made a difference for that one. Praise the Lord that you're still here because you've made a difference in our lives. He, the Lord has made a difference in each and every person's life that has come here to this river. And God wants us to continue to invite them to be thrown into the river to experience more and more of his spirit. Amen. Thank you so much, pastors.